In a grave mistake thunders the frost maiden. This time, in her first guise, she is a dispassionate, um, uncaring, aloof uh, crone. This, however, is the thunderous fury of the winter storm, the Frost Maiden. All frigid indifference has melted and now bored into a rage, causing the very ice of the glacier above to tremble. Okay, may have miscalculated a bit. <laughs> we need to change music. And this is a oral mixtape. Um, I'll just put her on screen first, and I'll show you a handout too. Oh, she looks human now. She's like this huge icy woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She big lady. Big <laughs> lady. <laughs> there we go. And she appears. There. Boy. Okay. We get four temp HP. Thank you. Sharpie, is that your turn? Uh, that is my turn, yes. Okay, um, who are we up next? Jokus. Oh no, Threads. Threads. No Hunter's Mark. Stairs, death in the f um, is she still Hunter's Mark? No. No? No. <laughs> Oh, that ruins everything. Okay, um, use my bonus action to turn invisible. Okay. Um, and I move away, and hopefully she can't opportunity to me. Okay, let's have a look. Bonus action, turn invisible using the special skills that you've acquired in your three. Um, okay, she, as you sort of tiptoe away, she swings at you with her morning star made of ice. Yeah, of course she does. She hits armor class 20. Oh, okay. Yep. Doing 13 damage. I'm down. Oh. You would be uh, there. Right. There. She's got 10 foot reach. Oh, sorry. No, 5 foot reach. So I guess I'd just be where I started? No, it's when you leave it. So if you sort of went over to there, you know, one across. Oh, if you went diagonally like that, then yeah, you'd be where you started. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So Threads has gone unconscious from a donk on the head with a morning star. Jokus. You probably um, wouldn't. You probably uh, Bonus action. Uh, use second win. Okay. And then I'm gonna take two attacks on this. Uh, my first attack on the giant below uh, me. Okay, roll to hit. Twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two hits, and you destroy the creature with a single blow. Yeah. All right. 
Alright, I'm gonna move here and attack this giant next. Okay. Uh, 27 to hit. 27 hits. Hang on, uh, you, you need to be next to him to hit him. Or are you taking the wolf or the giant? Uh, there. Okay. Oh, the giant, there you go. Okay, there you so go. That's 12, 12 bludgeoning. Uh, so it'll be 24. And then 2 radiant. Okay. Is that your turn? Okay. Um, when you do that, um, at the end of that, let's have a look. Um, Aurel snaps one of the splinters off her, throws it to the ground and um it takes shape and form and wing wings and it flies over it appears next to you ash up in the sky oh god jack is take 16 temp hp oh thanks Uh, Cletus. Um, Cletus will move five feet and then another, so ten feet. And uh, DM, it says that Eldritch Blast, you can direct the, the beams at one target or different ones. You can. So he's going to direct yeah. his first Eldritch Blast beam at the Snow Golem, the one that's just standing there. Okay. And hopefully he can finish it off. Okay. Roll hopefully it. 25. 13 force damage. Uh, to this little fellow over here, that one over there. Yeah, this is the last one here. Yep, Just... you finish it off with an Eldritch Blast. Oh, and then he's going to aim his Eldritch Blast at the Frost, the rest of his Eldritch Blast at the, at the Frost Giant. Okay. Ah, oh, a natural one? Oh Shall no, he? misses. He You're far too close. Oh, no. no, no worries. And then a 24 to hit. That's hits. 15 force damage. Wow. Still alive and, oh. it, and you knock it back against this rocky ridge. Okay. And then he's going to use his bonus action and get his hand. He's going to move it over here and the hand's going to attack the try and finish off the frost giant. Okay. Roll to hit. A 20, 26 to hit. Oh, hits. Ah. Oh. Oh, let me just roll damage. Please. Frost giant, die. Oh, ten. <laughs> ten. <laughs> oh. You destroy it. It collapses in a heap of bones. And then Cletus is like really happy, but he's really hurt. So he's still running to <laughs> He's on ten feet. Fifteen. Okay. Twenty. Twenty-five. Okay. Thirty. Thirty. Ash! <laughs> and that's his turn done. All right, and I think you gain some temporary hit points from being within the twilight radiance of Ash. Am I? I yeah. don't know. Are you in 30 I have no clue. Am no, I? no. 45 from the oh, of it. Oh, no, it's okay. All right. <laughs> Just move closer. <laughs> Another day. Valin. Okay, she gets one death saving throw. Uh,
Ashloy's. Oh, well. Uh, mass cure wounds this time to everybody, because they are just within 30 feet radius. <laughs> so if I aim the spell in the center... Okay. Everybody, here we go. I say, well done, Cletus. <laughs> All right. And how much damage, how much healing does that do? Uh, 14 to everybody. All right. Villain wakes up again. <laughs> uh, bonus action. Truly not much I can do. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, the Winter Wolf goes, attacks you, um, Neo. Hitting armor class 23. Does it, doing eight damage and you need to save, strength saving throw. Oh, nine, so he knocks you prone. Not that that really matters, there's no giants around to pound you. All right, uh, that's the wolf gone. Oh, we get to see. Oh, there's one, there's one more. Where is it? Oh, I'm with yeah, you. On oh, Jackus. Okay, let's see. Nope, doesn't get its breath back, so it's going to attack you as well. Hitting armor class 19. That misses. Yep. Okay. Aurel, the... Frost Maiden. She walks around here. Uh, she can go there. And she holds out her hand as if she's about to blow a kiss. But as she breathes over her hand, a blast of icy cold washes over. Sharpie, Threads and Neo. It'll also go over the wolf. I'm so sorry, I cannot, I cannot see. I can't counterspell that. And, um, can you do a constitution saving throw? Oh god, I'm dead. Is anyone, um... Anyone resistant to cold? Who who is affected? Just the two, the three of them, right? Yeah, just threads, Sharpie, and Neo. Do I see? Oh, Neo's got it. Okay, so all three of you are, f are failing it. It does twenty three damage. our party's damage. I thought we used to deal so much damage. We have. We've got tons of damage. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. What's the other oh, yeah. The, the golems. Yep. Yeah, Sick. those wolves were like sponges as well. They just had multiple fireballs. Oh. Okay, so that's her action. Um... And she's now done. You are just out of range of my war right now. Neo. Well, there's still a, a live wolf in front of me, so... Yeah, but if you move five feet up, 
like you know like go around the wolf so you don't trigger opportunity. I mean, I'm prone. I have to break. I have to stand up. Oh, okay. Just kill the move. Just just kill the wolf. Kill I'm, the wolf. I'm going to stand up and punch the wolf again. Okay, roll a hit. That's a natural one. You can re that. Yep. Thank you for the hey! re-roll. <laughs> what is it? There we go. Oh, natural 20. Now run to one, natural one to a natural 20. Cool. Damage? 10 damage. You kill it. Boom, you finally you punch out a wolf. Now, I, I'm reading one of my uh, Black Sark. Um, I can uh, make a ranged spell attack uh, as part of this attack action as well. It's not a bonus action. Um, I'll, I'll just display it. Yeah, so you punch with one of your attacks, and with your second attack, you can shoot a Radiant Sunbolt. No problem. And you can mix and match them. But uh, on on it, it says it's a special attack that is ranged, so I... Yeah, that's fine. I do, yeah, I can do that with, as part of that first attack, and then I'm going to move up anyway. Uh... You gain a new attack option that you can use with the attack action. So you've taken the attack action. Yep. Special attack, it's a ranged spell attack. Yeah, so this is not, you punch someone and you get to do a sunbolt as well. You can use one of your attacks to do it. Da, 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 da. When you take the attack action. Yeah, that, that's what I'm, I'm thinking, oh, it's like, hang on a minute, it, if I get that at level 3, it means I essentially get to attacks at level 3. That's how I'm reading. No, when you, you no. Get to replace one of your attacks. With a Radiant Sunbolt instead of a punch. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Well, I'm going to, um, my second attack, use this anyway then. Yep. Fine. We worked it out. <laughs> well, bear in mind, down the track, down the thing, you can spend a key point to do it, to do it twice. Yeah, to, for a bonus action. And that's a twenty-three to hit. Oral. Yes. Oral. Oral gets hit. Seven radiant damage. Radiant. Okay, so you find that she's not particularly vulnerable to Radiant, but she takes the full amount. Damage is still damage. <laughs> okay, and did you... I've still got 10 feet of movement left. Yep. After that, so I'm going to go behind the pillar over here. <laughs> okay. Good call, good call. Now that's my turn. <laughs> okay, Orwell raises both of her hands um, and uh, ice shards fly off her in all directions, doing 2d4 damage to everyone around her. It's like a little storm. Uh, see if it's just each creature within 30 feet of our takes damage from swelling ice. Okay, so Threads, that's going to do two death saving throws for you. Oh god, don't do this to me. Where's Dawn? <laughs> uh, Sharpie, you'll take six as well. No saving throw? No, it's no saving throw. I'm just going to check distance to you, Threads. Yep, Thread, uh, sorry, Ash, you take six as well. Even though I'm behind the pillar, do I still take it? Um, no. Oh, <gasps> oh. <laughs> Sharpie, it's your turn. Speed 
Thread's healing potion. Oh! <laughs> Saviour! Okay. Roll your, <laughs> roll your healing. Threads, you become conscious. Four plus four. Okay. Seven hit points, not six. Okay. okay. Uh, Ash, you giving temporary still? Uh, yes. Hmm. That uh, twelve hit points. Did anyone else end in my aura? Oh, Neo. Um, you get fourteen. <laughs> And because yeah. you haven't had a turn yet, okay, yeah. Um, Oral stares down at you, Sharpie. That's my turn done. At the end of your turn, Actually, she's... I'm just going to move around to the back of her. Okay. She, okay, she, she watches you go, but then turn and, and then um, casually spins around and wax threads with her, her mace. Uh, I'm oh. going to use my crown to see, make it disappear. You're going to use what, sorry? Uh, the crown ability, so it's th all three charges. She has to make a saving throw or disappear. Oh, is this okay. when, she, when she makes an attack? Yep. Okay. Uh, DC 17, so... Uh, DC 17, okay. Uh, where is it? Just fail. Did she make the, rea the the attack first, no, or does the reaction go off first? Oh, okay, cool. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> like a yo-yo. Uh, sorry, what what type of what type of save is it, Shuffy? Uh, I was actually just looking at. Oh, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Fail, fail, fail. She rolls a she, yeah, she rolls a twelve and a twenty-one. So, she roll with advantage. Yes, she's got magic resistance. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, she slaps at you, Threads. That's advantage because I'm prone, right? Uh, you are prone because you've just been conscious, just been made conscious, haven't you? Yeah. I'm just okay. Her okay. Ice Morning Star. A 14 and an 18. Yep, she hits me. Doing 16 damage. Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh, man, this is it's like baby seals. Um, okay, Sharpie, is that your turn? Yes. <laughs> Threads! <laughs> It's a death saving throw. Come on, baby seal, yeah. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Do you have any reaction? Yeah, you do. Can you roll it? You can. Oh my god, I could. Nah, that's not real. <laughs> no, okay, I still failed. Okay, still failed, but you don't lose two. I think one is two death saving throws. Um, okay, so you've got one death saving throw. Dawn is <laughs> Dawn is going to attack the wolf. Okay, yeah, go for it, Dawn. My HP, my max HP, Ash, is 92. Yeah, it's going to... Yeah, Dawn's <laughs> I press the wrong thing, ignore that. Go, Dawn. Does she get two attacks because I'm down? Ah, uh, yeah, that's, let's do that. That's fine. I wish it was an advantage, but yeah, 23 to, to hit. Okay, that hits. For 10 sla uh, slashing damage. Okay. This so one's pretty healthy. 16 to hit. That hits as well. For 9. Alright, Dawn shows Jakus how to do it. Jakus, it's your turn. Okay, I'm just going to take two hammer attacks on the wolf. Okay. Mm. Uh, 27. Uh, oh, is that, you, you missed with one, did you? Yeah. 
Okay, the second one hits. Um, 18 damage. Okay. And then bonus action, I'm going to cast a spiritual weapon. Okay. Your cleaver appears. Roll to hit. Uh, where is that pinch? Ah, oh, that misses again. Okay. And do you want me to drag the spiritual weapon on there? Uh, yes, please. Can't seem to find it. That's alright, I'll find it. Um, and that's you done, Jakus? Um, when when I hit, I'm going to push the Winter Wolf back five feet. Thank God. Thank you. Okay. Cletus. Cletus is running to help. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six. Oh, he can see it. You see Oral. Oh, he's gonna <laughs> use his action to try and get her hurt. Maybe I'm gonna shoot his blast at it. Okay. For a twenty-five. I'm class hit for seven. I'm a class twenty-five hits, seven. and it does the full seven. Oh, okay. Good. 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 A twenty-eight to hit for nine force damage. Okay. And then 29 to hit for 14 force damage. Alright, she's starting to get fractures. Oh, he's gonna get his Bigby hand, Bigby's hand to move. Yep. And it's gonna try and grapple her. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, yeah, so it doesn't move. Yep. So it's a... Contested grapple check. Okay. Wait, wait. What is Oral? Like, is she huge or like, what's what size is she? she? She's large. She's large. Oh wait. Okay, no, it's okay. I can't. So it's this athletics check. Twenty one. Okay, she tries to slip out of it with her dexterity and doesn't, so oh, she's, she, her movement is zero, she's not going anywhere. Oh, great. I'm not sure if that's going to help or anything. Um, and it's going to cr try and crush her. Okay. Oh. Uh. It's eight plus five, so that's thirteen crushing damage. Okay. Does it look does it, does it look like she's taking the full damage? Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh Valin. She's struggling. She's struggling. Okay, she will stand back here, get behind the stone, and cast a spell on Jakus. Jakus, you're going to give in to the to the spell. Is this spawning war? Sorry. Sorry. I don't want to be polymorph. She says it's okay. Okay. All right. You be you become hasted. So you, be you become hasted, oh, Jacus. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Your armor class okay, drops. Dro armor class drops by two. You can get an extra thirty foot of movement rate and one extra um, attack or dash if you want it. Um, 
DM, sorry, I can't. I couldn't have crushed her in the same turn. So the thirteen damage. Can you please reverse that? Okay. Tomorrow? Okay. That's the bonus action outside of it, is it? Something along those it's lines. Another bonus action to crush. Yeah. Okay. Ash Louise, it's your turn. Uh, okay, so she is not restrained. She is restrained. Oh, can can people make opportunity attacks when they're restrained? Yes, she's just grap she's grappled. Just a disadvantage. Okay. Uh, I will swoop in twenty feet, pick up threads, and fly ten feet back. Okay. She will take a crack at you with a mace, Morningstar. Can she do that if she's grappled? Is she Gra disadvantage? Gra grappled makes your movement zero. Oh, I, be I, be I believe. It's restrained, yeah. Yeah, it's not restrained, it's just grappled. Grappled just, yeah. Um, yeah, I can take one attack from her, it's fine. Uh, yeah, you're the tank. Um, oh, God. What I want to be, <laughs> even though probably yeah I should be tanking, but I'm just like oh god. Seventeen damage from the Morning Star. What was what did she hit? Oh, she hit my AC. Okay. Yeah, twenty. But no other effect. And you've now got threads. Um, where are you taking threads? Or are you going straight up? Uh, And then, as an action, I can just about see everyone. I will mass cure. Oh, where's Belen? She's. She, you can't see her. Yeah, I can see her. Her token there. Oh, she moved. All right. Um, oh, hang on. That's I it. Will... Hang on. Just when there was an ice method next to you, which will also attack when you leave oh, it, yeah. its range. Yes. Oh, that's right. Hit him class 20. Hot dice. Doing 7 damage. Okay. Sorry, Ash. You, you finish your turn? Uh, yes. Uh, level 6 mask your wounds. Now, how are you casting spells if you're carrying threads? Oh, I've done it before. I've carried someone and cast like, oh, I'll do mass healing word then, because that's a verbal. Okay. Uh, yeah, that will work. Okay. Uh, let me see. I think that's an eight to everybody. Okay. And what are your weapons and do you have a shield? Yes, with a shield of holy symbol. Okay, so if they drop one and stow the other, that could one of them you could stow either your weapon or your or your shield. I will stow the shield. Okay, okay. And my armor will drop. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, mess healing word goes off, and you are oh, Velin. You can't see Velin. Is that the one that you couldn't see? Are you up in the sky? I oh, know I can see her token. I can, oh, see, yeah. it, but I can see her health bar. Okay. All right. And so, I'll play. yeah. Cool. The winter wolf goes. Uh, Jakus. Let's have a look. See if it's got some breath. No, not again. Um, all right, it walks to here. That comes within your range, Jokus. I'm gonna use the brace again. Yeah, I thought you might. Okay, where you go? Uh, 15 to hit. It hits. Uh, 16 damage. Okay. 
and then it attacks you back. Armor class 18, that's a miss, I believe. Yep. Oral goes. See if she charges up. She doesn't. Were you trying to charge up her cone of yeah, cold by I, any chance? It sure was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, she um, reaches around her and pulls these motes of light into her hand and. Um, Creates this ice crystal that floats in the floats in the sky next to her. She then points at you, Ash, and you need to do a charisma saving throw. No, that's bad. Chris is bad. Ash. Oh, no! Not one. <gasps> Choppy! Already used it on the was... I always had a 19 and then it went to a 1. <laughs> okay, Ash vanishes. <gasps> oh, oh my Ash. god, it's a vanishment spell! Oh. You have to break her concentration. <laughs> I know! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, actually, you would see that Ash seems to shrink and then turn into a mote of light herself. She shoots into this little gem, this, this ice gem that's floating next to Oral, and, um, and the, the, the gem starts glowing with a blue heartbeat. What happens to threads? I fall from the sky at 10 feet. Oh, yes. 10 feet to be fair. Oh, yes. <laughs> no. Six damage threads. I fall from the sky. Six damage, okay. And you're prone. And you're prone at all at Oral's feet. Now she's 10 feet away. It's not too bad. Oh, yeah, <laughs> true. The range is like probably. Yeah, I'll put you exactly with where where um, Ash Louise's space was. Okay, well that's Oral's turn. So Neo, use the power of the sun, Neo. <laughs> yeah, you are the Mithala. I mean, I'm going to uh, move my character, uh, move out from. Cover. Hiding place. Yep. Right to right there, so complete line of sight. Yep. And I'm going to do a, another radiant sun bolt. Okay. Fifteen to hit. Um. I'm a class fifteen misses. I'm going to uh, spend a key point so I can do that again as a bonus action. Sure. How could it be possibly worse? Ah, oh, I'm a class 13 misses. Well, I'm going to go back behind my pillar and hide. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, Oral snaps off another moat and um, It turns into a method 
that uh, flies down next to Villain. The other one flies over to Threads. Threads, you're prone, so this Mephit's going to take a swing at you. 14 and 10, they both miss. And Velin gets attacked. Okay, it hits her. Threads, it's your turn. Are you cross? Or was it Sharpie? Did I miss you? I think I missed you. Oh, you did miss me, yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, aim and attack. Okay. Uh, trying to drive a blade into the mind of mind of a god. Yes. Why am I here? That seems like a terrible plan. <laughs> Get away from her. <laughs> Easy. 21. 21 hits. She takes the full damage. 18 psychic damage. Okay. Yeah, and Sharpie stares down and that's his guy. Okay, no bonus no bonus action. Uh aim was the bonus action. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um threads. Need a con check of any kind. Threads, it's your turn. Um, Are you there? Then I bonus action cast. Can you hear me? No, I can now, but I couldn't at the first, the start of that. Okay. Half of my movement to stand up. Okay. Um, then I'm going to bonus action cast Zephyr Strike. Okay. Which allows me to move without provoking opportunity attacks. And it also will give me an extra 30 feet of movement if I attack, I think. Uh, once before the spell ends, you can give yourself advantage on one weapon attack roll. That attack deals one d8 force damage on a hit, an extra. When you hit or miss, your walking speed, in, whether you hit or miss, your walking speed increases by 30 feet. Okay, so once you do that attack and get that very speedy extra attack with the D8, um, then the spell would be gone. Oh no, you can still do it, but you just, you can't, you're going to get this extra Zephyr strike once. Yeah, but I would be able to move 30 feet. Yeah, yeah. As well. Okay, so I have stood up, I've cast this so I can move away from the... Ice method without it hitting me. I am now here. I'm just going to. I'm just. Our... Yeah, I'm just reading uh, whether you hit or miss. Uh, okay, yep, sure. I don't think you can go the thirty now though. The thirty looks like it's after yeah, you after, after you attack. attack. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now you're still within melee range of Oral for disadvantage purposes. Could I ask? If you can go so out I to have 35, you could go out to here somewhere. But I just think she'll just follow me. <laughs> then she takes free strikes, and that's great. Um, if I have 35 foot of movement as my normal range, do I move? S could I now move four? Four squares? You lose half, so it's three of them. Uh, four. Yep. Would I be able to get there? Yep. So I would technically be out of her sure. range? Sure. Yep. You can have shots now. Okay. Now. Yep. Now I'm going to shoot at her. 21. Hits. 
or 16, 10 piercing, 6 necrotic. Uh, necrotic, she takes the full amount. <gasps> oh, yes! Threat! 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 <laughs> Thank God. Can I? Uh, I can give myself advantage on one weapon attack roll. Um, can I roll a d20 just to see if I would get a crit on the first one as well? Um, yeah, sure. No, so yeah, okay. just the 21. Okay, I see lots of dice. You'll have to tell me. Oh, yeah. 15, 13 plus 8? Or is it just total 13? I don't know. That's, I think it's 13 plus 8. Yeah. So, so 21. Okay, she's getting quite badly damaged. Cracks all over her. Bits of chunks of ice falling. Does she look like she's con like trying to concentrate by any chance? Oh, that's true. Let's have a look. After all the attacks we've been throwing at her, <laughs> run through it. No, I'm not staying anywhere near. <laughs> You're staying light of sight. You should have broken it. <laughs> I was like here. Yeah. Right? Uh, no, she doesn't seem to be concentrating on anything. She doesn't. She doesn't seem to be concentrating on anything. Where's Ash? Oh no. My God. Maybe yeah. it's it's the it's the yeah the glowing thing. Um, Jakus. Gonna take two hammer attacks on the wolf. Okay. Oh wait, bonus action first uh, for my spiritual weapon. Okay. Let's see if that hits. Thirteen. And uh, it misses. Uh, okay, and then I can move it 20 feet, right? So can I move it here? Yep. Uh, going towards Aurel. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my attack on the wood. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Don't smith. No, I don't think I don't think Sharpie can see you. Natural one. Second attack. Oh um, okay. So does the thirteen hit or no? No. Does does the fourteen hit? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh sorry, the thirteen hits. I'm I think oh, okay. Yeah. So that's 9 force and then 23 for my hammer attack. Dead. And then I'm just gonna move uh, 15, 10 feet first here. Oh, don't bunch up, guys. Oh my god. I'm gonna. I still have that charm, the cure wounds charm. I'm gonna use it on threads. Okay. Oh. <laughs> my hasted action. As your what? Hasted. Yeah. Uh, my hasted action, I'm gonna use the tear wounds on threads. Okay. Uh, but I don't remember how much it de it does. Or it's a one D eight, I think. Oh. Uh -huh. Plus your spell casting modifier. Cure light wounds. So wisdom. Was it just a level one charm? Was it the third level cure wounds? No idea. The he he oh, ate it's... one of the fruit given by the dryad, and it gave him. A, he, he was able to cast cure wounds, but I think it was at a specific level. Yeah. All right. So you get twenty. I'm pretty sure it was third level. Yeah, you get twenty points back. Okay. Oh my god, yes. And then I'm just gonna move 
five feet away from Aurel. <laughs> okay. I would dare her to come close. All right. She can't come closer. She's grappled. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Unless she teleports. Cletus. Oh, um, well, I wouldn't know because I was busy yeah. fighting the wolf. Yeah. True. <laughs> Cletus. Oh god, he's gonna step down here and he's gonna aim at that blue. Oh, I think that's that's where they do it. That was that's where at we think Ash's soul is. Is it? Uh, you know, well, you saw Ash turn into light and go into the crystal. Okay, and she doesn't look like she, the aura doesn't look like she's concentrating on a spell, so Cletus is gonna pray to Lathander and to Luna, and he's gonna aim and hit at that floating whatever that is. Okay. 29 to hit. Okay, so you hit Umclass 29 and hit this thing dead on. Uh, what type of damage do you do? Force damage. Force, so it sort of shudders but doesn't break. It doesn't seem to do any damage to it at all. Oh no! <laughs> when you get Ash out? Um, you still got two Eldritch Blast, if that's what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna try and, like, okay. Jacuz is there. He's gonna aim for the ice methods then. This okay. one that he can see. For okay. a 16 to hit. That hits. That's seven, seven force damage. Okay. Uh, another one. Yep. Fifteen to hit. That hits. Oh, oh fifteen hits. Great. Yep. Ten force damage. All right, still alive, but. Oh, it's still alive. Okay. Finish it, and he's gonna um, use his bonus action to get the hand to crush, try and crush Oral. Okay. Um, I think it's just automatic damage. Clench fist, grasp two d six. So ten plus five, fifteen, fifteen. Bludgeoning damage. Is it bludgeoning? Are you sure, or force? No, this one's bludgeoning. Okay. Grasp me hands. Oh, does it look like she's taking? No, she, damage with bludgeoning? No, she, it's just, it, but she's taking all of it. Okay, okay. And he'll just be here. Chill. No, he'll be here instead. Okay. Yeah, okay. So Valin is, con Valin is concentrating on haste. Um, cast a spell that destroys this method. But once it okay. does, it explodes. And she takes quite a bit of damage herself. Oh no, <laughs> They have a death burst. Ash Louise, where are you? I am a moat. Total cover. Okay, at the start of your turn, you take 26 cold damage. Okay. Uh, I, I need to see my token. Ah, uh, okay. I'll just make it visible. Even though you're not there, we just have to remember it. Oh, Is my I'm sorry, Dim. I would have pushed the ice method back. Would have it still exploded and hurt villain. Uh, when? Oh, when you smash it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, great. Then let heal yourself. So, Ash, yeah, what did I say? Uh, 26 damage. At the end of your turn, however, you can roll a saving throw. Charisma. Frost resistance. Yeah, so take 13 in that case. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Need a big one. Oh, it was so close, 119. Ooh, yes, that's good. 
I think, 18. 18. Okay, nothing happens. You don't see Ash Louise appear. What? Yeah. Or we'll go. Just kill her, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> cool and normal. Okay, let's see if her she charges up. Yes, she does. Okay, she's going to blast Jacus, Cletus, and Threads with a kind of cold. Um, uh, do we have half cover? How does that work? I think everyone should get that. Let's have a look. Where's my spells? You guys do. I'm in direct sight. <laughs> I told you to run away. I thought I did. I was stood behind <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. So, <laughs> so Neo, you're cool, but the others are gonna need to do saves. But it's coming through the little gap. Cons yeah, we get like advantage. Consti coming through a little gap. Constitution. <laughs> advantage. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Cl Threads and Cletus, you guys are at the edge of that. Yes. So. <laughs> that's a, Thank you. That, <laughs> that's a benefit of the blast, of the grasping hand, really, because otherwise you'd just move five foot forward and, and do it easily. Um, oh. <laughs> well, we still roll <laughs> Oh. Okay, so this is a DC tw DC twenty one con save. Ash, you haven't been twenty one. Or take forty two damage. Ash, is your modifier forty one? Forty two. Forty two. Oh yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, oh, threads us down again. Oh no! Jack, what about you, Jackus? Um, up. But taking the full 42? Uh, I had the temp HP, so it lessened it a bit. Oh yeah, yep. And then Cletus, have you taken the... where are you? He took 21 damage. Oh, because you're a... Resistant. Thing of the deep worshipper. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Neo. You just seen this blast of cold come come out? I will do uh, poke the head uh, head around the the gap again, like okay. the last time. Yep. Fire a uh, radiant sunbolt. Okay. Yeah, I think you can do two actually. You might want to post it again. Let's have another look. Yeah. I mean, it's every, time you, every time you melee attack, you can do a sun bolt. So. Yeah, so if you can do two melee attacks, then you can do two sun bolts, maybe. It's at the very bottom. That's with the bonus action, though. I was thinking whether he's oh. if he's got multi attack. I so, do have multi attack. I can't probably use it twice. You can uh, have 16. 16. Um, it's a hit. Oh, yes. That's a low AC. Hmm. She's like a huge walking, like, ice she, She's a huge walking icicle. Uh, five radiant damage. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen misses. Okay. So, it only takes... She only takes five, and I'm going back behind my rock. Yo, it's a channel the power of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Would do that if I had key points. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just. What was the plan for making this character? <laughs> what, what was the the full full question there? <laughs> What's the plan for making this character? What You're doing 1d8 plus 3. So, you no know, 
Um, I'm just trying to figure out, looking at this Radiant Sunbolt, whether you should have two because you've got two attacks. It says at the bottom, you should, when yeah. you gain the extra attack feature, yeah. the extra attack can be used as many times. Yeah, I think I think that's the case. Yes. So I think you I think you get two, um, and this also is very similar to your the melee attacks that monks get, because it's saying when you take the attack action on your turn, you use a special attack. If you spend a key point, you can attack twice as a bonus action. So basically, you could attack if you spend your one key point, you get four of these things, it's similar to when you do a melee attack. I think I think you're under yeah. undercutting the the ability. It's not going to help me much anyway. I don't have any points. Yeah, fine. Okay. I, I, kind, of, <laughs> I, I kind of burned the ball on that that uh, big sun, sun ball. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. All right. So you get your two attacks, but both of those miss. Oh no! One did five damage, and the other one missed. Okay. All right. Um, in that case, where are we up to? Shuppy. I uh, basically continued to telepathically sh shout into this god's mind. Okay. Uh, aim and side blade. Uh, 24? Uh, 24 hits. Twenty-three damage. Oof. Sorry. Okay, fractures appear all over her, and um, it looks like she's moments from fracturing, but she's somehow she's still still held together. Jackus, your turn. It, uh, is it? It was threads, I think. Oh no, no threads! Oh no! Leave me alone. <laughs> this is not a good day for me. I wasn't going to help you anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it failed. Oh my god. I have not actually passed a death save the last like three Oh my god. Sessions. Oh no. <laughs> I died last session and I died the session before too. <laughs> okay. Um... It's fine. At least we have Dawn. At least we have Dawn. <laughs> Where you go, John? Dawn flies in to attack this... Whatever it's called. Method. Method. Okay. Hits. 18. 8. to hit. 10 slashing, but it's it counts as magical slashing. Okay. It's uh, badly injured from that. 8 to hit um that misses okay and then she flies maybe i think she has like five to about here okay jackus jackus uh, finish her i'm gonna move forward then the back forward okay 28 Armor class 28 hit, hits. So that's 17 and 13. Okay. Um, deep fissures appear along the Frost Maiden's jeggy, icy form, and one by one, glacial sheets fall off, shattering below, until at last there's nothing left of the goddess but a floating diamond that gleams with a divine spark. Spells and whatnot end. She. Oh my god. She's not finished. She's is... not finished. It looks as if she, um, Oral um, is still present in some form. Is she grappled by any chance? No, she doesn't appear there. 
Um, is she? So she's here, right? No, not yet. Hang on a second. I'm just putting her on the board. Winter's wound. She just throw her in the fire now. Just throw her into the sun. Well, if you can grapple her, surely you can. Oh move yeah! Her. <laughs> what? Exactly that. I was waiting for you to oh, move the her. Oh, the was there. I'm just like, why should we go in there? <laughs> oh, winter's womb. Ugh. Okay. So, um, this glowing uh, shard of ice. I can give you a handout as well for it. With a pulsing beat um, of life, divine spark, somewhat similar to the way you believe ash is. She's mini-me for oh, Aurel. No. And um, she appears high up, floating a few feet above the rock, but on a rock that's got a high angle far above it, far above you. Um, and, how high... So I can't, can I see her from here? You can see her, yeah. Probably about 30 feet away. Okay, so I still have my haste and attack. You do? My haste action, sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna charge up the force ring. Charge up what? you want to hit. Charge up what? The force, the force ring, ring of the ram. Sorry. I think use that, all three char I don't think that's an attack. I think that's a use item. So yep. I can't use that for my hasted action? Uh, oh, your hasted action? Yes. Yep. Yeah. I use all three charges. Okay. Roll to so hit. That's... Roll to hit. Yeah, 21 to hit. Uh, the hitter. Okay, so that's 6d10. Oof. 6d10. 33 damage. Wow. Bad, not bad. Okay, you do notice that cracks appear. Exactly, average. <laughs> cracks appear on this um, winter's womb. And uh, before we move on at all, I think that we should stop here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agreed. It's a long right. fight. You you've completely defeated two of Oral's forms, and now you're left with the divine spark to contend with somehow. It clearly can fly and has a spark of life. Okay, okay, okay. And it, but is that your turn? Just finish your turn, Jokos. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's all I can do. Okay. All right. So I'm going to skip you down. Um, the um, the shard glows brighter with a brighter cold blue. But otherwise, there's nothing observable in terms of a layer action, uh, uh, legendary action, and we can pause there until next week. Does the shard look like it's concentrating on Ash's banishment spell by any chance? It didn't. <laughs> it didn't look like it was concentrating on her before, so uh, there was nothing. To, there was no concentration going on. Why? Why? Where is Ash, dear? Who knows? Who can say? Uh, Very much dead. <laughs> not dead. Not dead. All right. Chris, Chris oh. isn't a dump stat, guys. <laughs> I'm hearted, mother. Yeah, why do we not come back? Wait one week for thee. Okay. Um, we can recap throughout the week. Um, make sure everything's all kosher to, to kick off with. But um, you're very close, very close um, to solving this whole quest. All right, I'm going to sign straight off. It's uh, almost one, so no, big you. session. Thank you. See you. No, see you next week, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Ciao. Night.